This video is an FOA fiber optic hands-on hint. This video will talk about how to calibrate your polishing pressure when polishing connectors. If you want your connectors to look like the picture on the left, but they look like the picture on the right, you need to work on your polishing technique. You need to practice your process. You need to learn to keep everything spotlessly clean, to polish carefully and gently, either air polishing or on a soft flat polishing pad, and to inspect your connectors often with a microscope to see how the polishing is progressing. One of the mistakes people often make in polishing connectors is putting too much pressure on the connector on, when pressing down on the polishing film. That can lead to scratches and pitting on the end surface of the connector ferrule. An FOA instructor, John Waboda, came up with a great way of teaching his students how to get the pressure correct. All you need is a simple postal scale. Let's see how John does it. So this is local 697 JATC. Okay, this is a weight scale. So we determine the correct amount of pressure in order to polish a uh, fiber optic ST connector. Go ahead, Mike. Set it zero now. Have a rubber mat, a piece of glass, polishing paper, and a puck. Comes out to 10.7. Back to zero. It's just a test connector. The amount of pressure I'm applying is roughly two ounces. Go ahead and apply more on the scale so we know how to determine we don't put too much pressure on the scale. With this device we can watch our new fresh students so that they don't overpower the connector and mess up a polish. That's it. We're done. That's how simple it is. Just put your polishing pad and film on top of a postal scale and adjust your pressure until you get about two ounces. That's what you want to find. And once you get to the point you've learned how much pressure that is, you can consistently polish your connectors. This fiber optic hint was brought to you by the Fiber Optic Association, the professional society of fiber optics. Don't forget we have lots of other videos on YouTube and technical information on our website.